What's up everybody, it's your boy BJ coming at you with another video and I hope you guys are all having a beautiful and fantastic day. So happy to be on your screen once again, whether that's your phone, a tablet, a laptop, or your TV screen. I'm just happy to be with you today to share some knowledge with you. So excited to get into this with you. Go ahead and drop me one of these guys so that we can get these videos circulating out into the YouTube universe. Also, I'm super excited, I have dropped a new course that is gonna show you how to become a love magnet for anybody who's out there looking for love or you wanna manifest a specific person, maybe you wanna manifest a crush or maybe you wanna manifest an ex -pack. I don't know what your situation is. This course will absolutely help you. It's up right now. I have the link in the description below so that you can go ahead and pick this course up for yourself. It's at a really nice, affordable price so that anybody can get it. And it's a 30 day money back guarantee. <laughs> so if you're not feeling it, if you guys don't think that it serves you uh, in any way, shape or uh, fashion, you got 30 days to send it back and get a full refund. So pick up the course. I believe that it's gonna change your life. Uh, there's a lot of time and energy put into this and it's gonna show you uh, how to become a love magnet and the people that have already gone through it have already gotten amazing results so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this video guys so today we're going to talk about why you should stop chasing love because chasing implies that the other thing is running i've made other videos before where i've talked about this and um it just it chasing is just a it's a it's an unattractive energy when you're chasing that implies the other thing is running i can give you an example here when you are chasing a puppy uh the puppy is usually running like i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you i'm gonna get you right you're chasing the puppy the puppy's like you know running around like running away from you right because you're chasing the puppy but then the moment you stop chasing the puppy and you sit down you're like oh you know what i'm just gonna chill i'm not gonna chase the puppy what ends up happening? Usually the puppy comes back to you because you're not chasing them anymore. So the puppy's like, hey, I want to play. I want to I want to play with you. And they come to you. The same dynamic happens when you are trying to chase like, you know, a butterfly, for example. You're trying to catch this butterfly and you're like, oh, I'm going to get this butterfly. Let me catch this butterfly. You know, it's flying around. And then you could just sit down and chill. And out of nowhere, the butterfly will come and land on you, like on your shoulder, on your nose, or something like that, like we see in like, you know, the Disney movies or something or another. But anyways, um, I think that um, when you're chasing, it's not even just a thought, this is actually um, factual, it's been proven. When you're chasing something, that implies everything is running. But when you can actually sit and be in your own body and in your own energy, you attract things to you. That includes love. That includes money, that includes greater opportunities in life, that includes divine connections. When you are not chasing, that means that you live in a state of abundance. You have to come and live from a state of abundance. That's the secret, guys. When you live from a state of abundance and you don't worry about the love, you don't worry about the money, you don't worry about the relationship. This is how you open yourself up to greater possibilities because you're open to the ideas of love. You're open to the ideas of uh, possibilities and divine synchronicities. You're open to it. But when you're chasing, that implies that you live in a scarcity mindset. When you live in a scarcity mindset, you're basically saying, there's not enough, there's not enough to go around. So I need to chase, I need to chase this person. Or I need to chase money, like I'm paper chasing. Like that's that's all wrong. Like they say that in rap songs and that's not the exact energy that you wanna have. You don't wanna chase anything at all. Because when you're chasing, that implies that you're running to it like, oh my God, I need this so bad. I need, I need. And need is lack energy. You don't need anything. You already have everything you need. So the, the key thing to do to have love chasing you, relationships chasing you, is not to chase the relationships, but to be the person that you would like to have in your life. If you want to have someone that's respectful, healthy, that loves you, appreciates you, and values you as a person, then guess what? You have to be that person. You have to be that person that someone can love, appreciate, value, and respect. Because when you put that energy out there, you are putting out into the universe that, hey, I'm worthy of this kind of love. I deserve this kind of love because I am being this type of person to receive that type of love. You can't get something that you are not being yourself. If you are saying that you want someone that, you know, that takes care of themselves, you know, maybe they work out, they exercise, you know, they eat good, 
um, you know, they're, you know, respectful of others. But on the flip side, you are not taking care of yourself. You treat people like crap. You don't care how you look. And like, you just have no, no drive or any passions. Guess what? You're not going to attract someone that is doing those things because they're not even going to look your way because you're not being that. But when you are being that, then you become uh, aligned on the same frequency with other people that are being that also. You attract who you are being. Wayne Dyer had this great saying, and I love it so much. And you've probably heard many people say that, you know, talk about, you know, the law of attraction and manifesting. And he said that you don't get what you want. You get what you are. That's the secret. You get what you are. So if you want to attract love into your life, then be love. Be love. How do you be love? Be loving. Vibrate with happiness, with joy. Do things that fill your your own cup up first. So in that way, you can then pour into others. You can't pour into somebody else's cup from an empty cup. So if you don't already feel the love and appreciation for self, you can't feel love and appreciation for others because your cup is empty. Your cup has to be full before you can pour in anybody else's cup. So when you have a full cup, then you can pour because you, then you're, you're operating from abundance. Because guess what? Your cup can never run empty when you live from a state of abundance. Your cup will be overflowing because you're already full of the love, the abundance, the joy, the peace, the happiness. And guess what? That attracts other people that are aligned with you on the same frequency to you. You're not chasing. You're not, you're not living from a state of lack. Like, oh my God, I need this so bad. I need, I need, I need you. Ah! You're not living from that state. You're living from the state of abundance. And when you live from the state of abundance, you attract other things to you. This is a specific person. This is a crush. It could be an ex. It doesn't matter. This works every time. Uh, there's a story I heard uh, from this uh this other uh, YouTuber, he's on here. His name's Aaron Dowdy. I'm subscribed to him. Great guy. Um, he was saying that he worked in women's shoes for a long time. And that he and this coworker uh, were... Um, they had this guy that was always chasing women. And she made the statement, Have you ever noticed that whenever this guy is chasing these women, that usually these other women are running from him? Because chasing implies lack. You're chasing after someone. Whatever you're chasing is running from you. Think the word chase in itself. You're chasing. Chase. Usually when you're chasing, you're chasing something that's running away from you. So the key is to stop chasing love. Don't chase love. Become love. And then when you become love, then they will begin to chase you. They will begin to want to be around you. They will begin to become attracted to you because you're not chasing. You stop the chasing. You've embodied your own frame. You're, you're embodied in your own energy, your own love, your own magnetism, and you're raising your vibration by doing the things that you need to to fill your own cup up. And when you fill your own cup up, you become more magnetic. You vibrate at a higher frequency. You're, you're full of love, happiness, joy, and peace. You're already full of all that because guess what? You're a divine being. God created you in his image. So guess what? You're created from the ultimate form of love itself, which is God. And God created you, formed you from his image. So guess what? That makes you love. You are a loving being. You don't need anyone outside of you to complete you. You are already whole and complete yourself. And the sooner you realize this, that you vibrate at a high frequency of love, of joy, of peace, of happiness, and then you can vibrate that out, the sooner that love and relationships will begin to chase you. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed this. If you did, please go ahead and drop me a thumbs up. If you have not already, subscribe to the channel. And also be sure to hit that bell icon so that way you don't miss a single video that I come out with so you can stay up to date, so you can get the knowledge you need to and stay informed and get educated, guys. I'm just here to educate. I'm here to help you. I'm here to bless your life. So with that being said, I'll put some other videos up here for you guys to go ahead and check out. I love you guys. God bless you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.